Oh. Oh my god. How is he walking on that? Hey y'all, we're back with Third Street Reactions. I'm Malika. Shane. Lyric. We're here with Fallout Season 1, Episode 7. So we were dealing with two timelines. One being Cooper before the bombs dropped. And the other, obviously, is him being the ghoul. And as that is unfolding uh, in the present day storyline inside Vault 12, what does Lucy discover? Do you remember? Vault 4. Yeah, in Vault 4. What is, yeah. Level 12 with people hiding inside. I mean, people sleep inside pods. Yeah. Like cryo. Sleep. It's like a cryo thing almost. And um, there was also the thing where they, uh, he, it, it is revealed that Maul Daver was alive during uh, Cooper's timeline because he goes and he sees her at this place that he goes to with the address in the back of the business card. Mm -hmm. um, and she kind of looks pretty similar. So maybe she was in one of those cryo chambers. I mean, I don't even know what they are. Guys, before we jump into the next episode, if you want to support us, check us out on Patreon. We have full-length uncut reactions. Let's jump in. Sandra. I forget what happened to him last episode. I hope he's not eating her. Kind of looked like it, though. Thank you, darling. I'm just looking for information. I'll tell you anything. I had an oldest son, but he's gone. He took up with that mad woman in the hills two years ago. Was it Rufus? I didn't say. I didn't say. That must make you Tommy. How did you know that? I just, because it, that's how it goes. I've seen enough movies. Well, you see, Daddy-O, now from what I can tell, <clears throat> Rufus sent Tommy a stash of caps to pay a courier for the safe transport of an enclave defector. Maul Daver. By the time I got this letter off your brother, it was a little bit hard to read. Ah, oh, shit. Tell him, son. She's... She's at the observatory. <sighs> Look at him. Defiant. I wouldn't even try. These soldiers that we're fighting abroad, their families, we have more in common with them than we do with the people here in power, the real enemy. That's about all the worst shit I can take. I have my principles, Miss Williams. That's all. And those principles of yours, how much did Vault Tech pay to take them off your hands? So he's afraid of socialism, you communism. See, it happens that I know your wife. How do you know my wife? My research company was acquired by her division. We were developing this kind of technology. Cold fusion, infinite energy. That's what I was on the verge of achieving when Vault Tech swept in and bought up every company I'd ever worked for. What is it? It's a listening device. A listening device? You want me to spy on my wife? <laughs> Be worried about them listening to I'm me for that. I'm a communist, Mr. Yeah. Howard. That's just a dirty word they use to describe people who aren't insane. Nope, don't know about that. I saw what you were doing to those poor women. It's sick. She needs to see the holotape. <sighs> All right. Despite our results here, I want to reiterate that a society governed by scientists okay. is the ideal social structure. Is it? What happens when scientists are given unregulated control? And, and hybridizing humans with radioactive resistant species still has potential. Uh, so that was a person. With a f Remember? Yeah, the fingers. What was a bunch of people yeah. fucking mangled together? Oh. And His ancestors were used as lab rats by the original residents of Vault 4. Until the lab rats rebelled. The creature in the video was actually my great uncle Peter on my mom's side. What was the experiment in 33? Well, well, there is no experiment. Oh, there definitely is. You have infected our home with violence, and now you must pay the price. Let it go! Was he still sitting there watching that waterfall? 
<laughs> oh yeah, his foot got crushed basically. I don't want to see that. Oh. How's he walking on that? I'd be freaking out, wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Looks like Malachi's foot. Nuka Cola. You're a loose cannon, all right? This is a very important mission. I can't have you jeopardizing it. It's bigger than you. It's bigger than all of us. Oh, see? You got a little window and everything. You'll be fine. Is you leave her to start to death? Yeah. What? For causing harm to a fellow survivor, you are hereby sentenced to death. Death? Jesus. By banishment to the surface! That's what she wants, huh? Okay, the guy's gonna come to 260, he's gonna think that they're doing something to her, and then... So they're just gonna make her go back to the surface? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the... You'll be killed, almost immediately, on the surface, by Lord knows what. That's why we're giving you two weeks of supplies. That's... really nice of you guys. My friend really likes it here. And he's a good person. Can he stay? I think you're right. Oh, shoot. They literally are letting her go. They're probably doing the nicest thing for her. Yeah. Not the popcorn! They're letting me go. Really? <laughs> oh my. We stole their fusion core. No. Yes. No. Oh, I don't like the idea of him just leaving his fucking armor. Oh, okay. Thank you! <laughs> I was supposed to marry a stranger from another vault. Turn out so good. When all of this is over, you could come and live with us in Vault 33. With me. My cock explodes? I wonder if he feels he's not really... There's something I should tell you. Yes. My name isn't Titus, it's Maximus. Titus is the name of the knight who owned the... And I took his armor, and I lied to you. So all that stuff you're saying, you know, about, uh, about me being a good person... Do you want to come live with me in my vault? Yeah. Yeah. A foxy, gutsy sound of bygone... He did leave that dog. And... Wow. Messed up. I don't take visitors at the station. He left his bag too. I think it's just, yeah, bare minimum because he knows he's. Isn't one of the guy who was fucking a, like a sheep? Yeah, or a chicken. Excuse me, I'm a doctor. I can help you. I don't trust that man. <laughs> oh my god! How is he walking on that? I have in my possession. Serums and potions for every malady and misfortune that could possibly be said. Oh, stop me from just killing you, taking your whole thing of drugs. But which is which? Fine. Just give me the right one. Okay. There's a small matter of my fee. Oh my. What is he gonna do with the fusion core? He it. could sell it, yeah. <laughs> is his foot just gonna morph back? Oh, for real? Jesus. Wow. It said oh, snake oil oh, salesman oh, in the subtitle. Uh, you. you know where I can find a radio tower? It's near a town that used to be called Shady Sands. Shady Sands? This is radioactive as hell. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore, do you, buddy boy? What? I wonder if he turned him into like a mutant or some shit. Uh, uh, her. Are these the rads up top? Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I feel like this is a good moment for a fresh start. I think so. You're a coward. You know that shit? Yeah, and the dog will be able to track him back down. Mm -hmm. 
She also knows that he'll be tempted if he takes that. Oh, is that... Okay. I hate how it's getting worse and worse. I know. Uh... Thanks again for letting me use your radio. That was really nice. Nah, no problem. Great job on these booby traps, by the way. Really? Good. Hey, thanks. Well, that's nice. No requests. How do you get there? That's what I'm saying. Oh, shit. Oh, gun's blazing. In every shot, probably. God, I suck about a scope. <laughs> we just want the head. Who are you? I'm the person who cut it off. Okay, um... He's gonna live. Uh, <laughs> oh. Why am I not dead? What did that stuff turn into a ghoul? Yeah. Oh, if it did turn him into a ghoul. Yeah, it is, I think. That yeah, is. I, I think you might be a ghoul. Oh, no. <laughs> Kill me if they find out. What? Th this is good, no? The Brotherhood is a good guy? Yeah, he's giving me the head. Huh? I'll slow them down. You'll have time to run. Did you do that for me? Thank He's gonna you. run. Uh, I'm sorry about... What are you doing? If they want a head, I'm gonna give them a head. Yes. Find your dad. Go home. That's what I want for well, you. You're supposed to come with me. They're never gonna stop looking for the artifact. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> and we are proud to announce as interim overseer of Vault 32, Has to be her, right? Stephanie Harper. Mm -hmm. Has to be someone from the original. Where are you going, kid? You going to get caught doing something stupid. What are you going to do, Norman? I feel like it's late in the game. Well, maybe you will. We still got one more episode, so. Doesn't this shit keep a record? Hey, do you know what I mean? You probably didn't see the code word or something. After he might die after though. it was asked how you compromise, maybe there's some type of pre-planned like you're supposed to say this exactly. I don't have cameras and shit. Yeah, that's gotta be loud. Yeah. What's gonna be there? Hello? Oh. That's gracious. You gotta give us something. Hello? Machinery? A lyric. I see something I don't want to see. Oh, that's gonna end right there. Really, you sons of bitches. Huh. Man. There's a few things they gotta wrap up. I mean, they already confirmed season two. And three. And three? And three. How can you confirm another season after? Because maybe they they love the show so much, like the um, you know the people on the network, and they say, "Hey, we're going to confirm you for season three because we know it's going to do well." <laughs> do you think Norman's going to get out of this thing unscathed? Nope. Mm -hmm. Think he's going to die? No. I don't think he's going to die. No, but I think something probably bad's going to happen. Okay. What? What? What he's seeing? I don't robots, know, a machine, something, something robot. Like a, ro a ro heavy. like a robot's directing everything, you know? It sounded like a big robot. It kind of sounded like the uh, T-60 walking, you know what I mean? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Cooper being asked by Maul Daver to be a spy. A spy on his wife, so essentially so they can have a, an ear in on Vault Tech. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think he should do that. I yeah, I'd feel kind of bad about it. Yeah, I don't but think he should do that. I think he should the curiosity his... would get to me, though. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, the curiosity would get to me. 
I don't yeah. know. What, what would you do? Um, I don't know. I mean, I'd definitely be curious. I probably wouldn't do it until I, like, figured out something that was suspicious, and then I would probably. So would you have given the core, uh, the fusion core back? The power to suit, if you're Maximus? Yeah. I think I would have, too. Unless I was on some mission that would have saved a lo much larger group of people. He, he just wanted that fusion core back because he, he himself, like the way he idolizes the the knights, right? Mm -hmm. He idolizes the suit. He thinks he needs the suit to be the hero. And when he doesn't have the suit, he's just a nobody, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Because he didn't earn that suit technically. He obviously kind of stole it. By yeah. doing an immoral act. I think he's just going to prove himself now. Like, well, I hope he does. Try to be a hero without the suit. You know what I was wondering? is I, I kept thinking it was going to reveal the fact that he is the one who fucking put that trap in his friend's shoe. Like the one that he, he took. Oh, yeah. Know. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So, yeah. any theories on what vault -Tec experiment is? Like, what are they doing? Like, what no. did Storm and Norman, what did he walk into? I have no idea. I don't know. Yeah. Just robots, I think. So 33 is the vault that's overseeing both of them, and 32 and 31 are the experiments. Yeah. Well, 33 it, has experiments in it, and 32 is just a vault. Well, vault 4 also has on level 12, well, they said they're just trying to soothe the people they're experimenting on. Well, they asked what their experiment was, so that means each vault probably has an experiment. I wonder Where if they're they? telling the truth about that, though. I guess I had the feeling they were. I don't know why. It just... It's almost like presenting this idea that people on the outside that look abnormal, they're actually the good ones, kind of. And the people who are all uppity and the people who act nice and sweet are really the ones that are sinister. I can't believe they're going to just let Lucy go like that. It was, I know. It, I definitely didn't suspect it well, they're, they're expect peace, it. They're peaceful. Two yeah, when he just supplies. like... Yeah, oh, and he's like trying it's to... Crazy. Can you sharpen that, please? And just, you know... <laughs> I like the Cyclops. Yeah, then Max... Yeah, Maximus comes in there to save the girl and be the hero that he desperately has always wanted to be his whole life. And even then he messed up. Yeah. So... Okay. Guys, that's it for our conversation. If you like us, you want to support us, check us out on Patreon. Get our full length uncut reactions. And if not, we'll see you next episode.